Coach A kami in live from Decap Coffee Republic, the home of certified life coaches here in the Philippines and soon to be global. You're joining me for Kapiha Night. Kapiha Night is brought to you by Decap Coffee Republic. We exist for two things. We inspire people and help transform life. And for tonight, it's just a beautiful night. We're going to be talking about how to turn your talents into income. And let me take this beautiful night to welcome all the guests on floor. This is one of... This is one of the rarest moments, okay, that there's so much men in the house. Can you look around? Can you look around? There's so much men in the house. And I'm not really sure if the message is clear that when you talk about talents, there's a lot of hidden talents with men or hidden talents that are not able to turn into income. Or maybe just tonight, I'm blessed to have more men rising up, okay, for something to develop themselves. So men, thank you. Both coaches and non-coaches, magandang gabi, okay? For those of you joining me for the first time, if this is the first time that you're watching me, the first time that you are seeing me, connecting with me, I am a life coach. I'm a certified life coach. Two things I do. I empower people to be mentally fit so you can stay alive and live beautifully. And I also represent the Life Coach Training Institute that is based in Dallas, Texas, USA. I do certification program in behalf of the institute here at Decap Coffee Republic and other off-site and after batch 26, we're on batch 26 right now. Graduation, we've started last Monday. Graduation day two will be on Monday. After that, we're flying to Tacloban, okay, for batch 27, okay? And then we're going to be moving to Cebu and then back to Manila. So we have also, and I'd like to congratulate, okay, our couple, Coach Tin and Coach Sean, coming all the way from Bicol for a successful toiling activities, a lot of coaching activities, talks, series of talks and sessions in uh, Bicol. Okay, congratulations to both of you. We've done already one certification class in Cebu, I eat in Bicol, and we're looking forward to have another in October. So if you're within uh, Region 5 and you're interested to join with us, get connected with Coach Rizel, 0917586 And we're looking at October. Tama ba, Coach Teen? All right. So Cebu is uh, going to be in August, but Tacloban is coming up very, very soon, this July 20 and 28. So Coach K. Sabala, I'm not sure if you're there, but just in case you're watching. And to all the tribe, our tribe in Region 8, magandang gabi. Coach Venus is on floor. <laughs> Coach Marife, si Coach Venus ay nandito ngayon. Okay, we're gonna be talking about talents, okay, and how to turn your talents into income. Now, I've started asking my on-floor guests, okay, um, what is the talent that is hidden? Okay, not everybody knows, not everyone knows what is your hidden talent. So if you're watching online, you wanna comment with your talent, please do so, okay? So tonight, the focus is, uh, how to turn your talents into income, okay? So, have you heard this? Do what you love to do, and money will follow. Yes. Sinong nakarinig na nun? If you're watching and you can connect, okay, hashtag connect, coach, I can connect, I can relate. But many of you would say, coach, ang tagal-tagal ko nang ginagamit yung talent ko, walang nagbabayad. Can you connect? Okay, now, Here's, here's interesting, I'm not going to define talents for you because many times we are, the misnomer with talent is ang galing-galing mo. Now, think about it. You get better with something as you practice it. Talent is natural to you. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. So, minsan pag sinabing anong talent mo, and then may naisip ka, ayaw mong sabihin because hindi naman ako magaling doon. Eh, hindi ka talaga gagalay kasi hindi mo pinapractice. Okay? So, what is talent? Talent is naturally gift, a uh, natural gift to you, something that you can do. Okay? And ito pa yung problema sa talent. Sometimes, sobrang dali niya sa'yo and you feel hindi siya talent. It's coming very natural to you. Okay? So, some people can do doodles. I mean doodles. Very natural to them. Nakikinig, nakikinig, okay? Uh, Free-flowing na doodles sila. And barely they realize, they could recognize it's a talent. Okay, now, I want to put a perspective here before I share with you five steps to turn your talents into income. So I'm going to give you five specific steps that at the end of tonight's talk, okay, you can definitely turn your talents into income. So in case you know some people, okay, who are really trying to find their way to make their 
talents into income. Okay, please share this to your timeline or to your groups, okay, FB groups. And I think tonight, we're gonna be unearthing a lot of potentials and opportunity for every one of you to be able to monetize what you are so great at. Are you ready? Okay, here's the thing. As we live in a digital world, okay, we have to understand that technology changes a lot of things for us. Right now, technology is accelerating in a very fast pace. Can you agree with me on that? Yes. Okay? Technology is making things efficient. Agree? Okay. It has created a lot of things in our needs that we are thinking our human capacity and ability, our natural talents have no place in technology. Because when you think about talents, think about this, when you think about talents, talents cannot be replaced by technology. Think about your talents. All across the room, come on now. Can that be replaced by technology? Okay. Unfortunately, technology is challenging our own talents. Why? Because we see technology automating work and eliminating manual labors. And we feel that what we can do manually is obsolete. Am I correct? All right? So that's hitting you because you're thinking everything can be done electronically. But think about your talents. Think about what you're able to share tonight. Okay? Can it be automated? Come on now. Can it be automated? Can technology copy what you're doing? Can technology mimic you? Can technology replace that? See? If technology cannot replace that, then technology cannot eliminate your talent. Therefore, there is money into it. Am I correct? Technology changes the location of the person. Tama? Who does the manual work. Now, here's the thing. Now, the, this person will be the person who can do the best job for the lowest price, regardless of where they are in the world. Ito yung pananaw natin. O, di ba? How can I price my talent or what I can do? Well, in fact, pumunta ka lang sa Google, mag-check ka lang, there's a lot of competition I can see. Am I correct? That is also one thing that causes you to be inferior or insecure about your talent. All right? Assuming your you, you, uh, your talent is into art, into painting, and then all of a sudden you check the internet and you see all the big names and you see, oh, I'm not really good at it. Okay, in that place there are better artists in there. Okay, so you allow okay your very own talent to be taken away from you because you are seeing get to you better and greater things in the internet. Can you connect with me? Technology also puts cutting edge knowledge in the hands of anyone who has a computer. Now think about it. Sino dito yung nagdo-drawing? Okay. So, merong in two walls, tama ba yun? May, may, my son is an animation graduate, so meron siyang ganon, di ba? You can draw it. But you know what? Coach Glacy, ayan, hello daw. Okay, here's the thing, okay? Think about it. Somebody doing the drawing, the artworks, using the computer versus someone doing the artwork in front of you. Which one will you prefer? The one in front of you. Am I correct? Okay. Think about it. You go to the internet and you check artworks. Isn't it true that we are more connecting and more attracted, okay? It's more attractional to see hand drawing, scan, and posted. Correct? I use, you know, at a certain point in time, I'll, I, I'm looking for artworks to be used in my ads. I really want those hand-drawn, hand-painted. I want it. Barely you see it. Okay? So, what I'm saying here, your talents have value, isn't it? Technology puts the power of marketing and selling into the hands of anyone who has a computer. So, feeling mo, kapag wala yung technology sa kamay mo, Walang value yung talent mo. In the old days, if you want to publish, you have to have your big printing companies, 
Am I correct? Rent or buy a building, da 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 and everything. But truth of the matter, you can still you can publish your book right now electronically. So you've got to see that technology have both positive and negative sides. But my thinking, hindi ka naman talaga pwedeng palitan. But you can maneuver technology and digital in this industry in industry right now and the digital revolutions to your advantage. But can you see that? Can you see that? I mean, talk about um, Coach Romel. Can I share your your talent? Coach Romel said he can swim. Now you say everybody can swim. No, I can't. No, I don't swim. So to me, that's a talent. But what he said. He was able to save five lives. And to me, that's a value of a talent that you have. Your talent have a purpose and a value in our world, in our economy, in our ecology. Talents are something so natural to you, and because you are not putting a value into it, you yourself is diminishing the value of your talent. Ikaw talaga yung nagdi-diminish nun, hindi yung katabi mo. Yes? And many times, you say, you would always say, walang value yung talent ko because no one is paying for it. But my question to you, are you selling your talent? Are you monetizing your talent? Are you telling to the world, I am really great at this? And I can command payment for this. Because many times, you shortchange yourself and you just give away your talent. Because talent is something that you can do naturally, joyfully, abundantly, and so you end up giving it for free. Am I correct? And then you complain, I'm not getting money from my talent. Whose fault at, is it? Okay? So, think about it. Your very talent, which is very unique to you, can be monetized. Okay? Here's the thing. Anyone can paint a house, but you would seek to hire someone who's specializing and talented in creating the look, the feel of the bedroom that you want. Am I correct? Yeah. So there is something particular in your talent. Everybody can decorate, but there are those who are skilled and talented that they will talk to you and they will naturally bring out the best. And really, exactly. Okay, architecture. Okay, it's as Coach Rafi. I, oh, nami miss out tiny Coach Rafi. We miss you also, Coach Rafi. I met one architect. He did one of my uh, offices in the past. And yeah, sure. Okay. You have you you probably met a lot of architects in your life, but this particular architect of, of mine uh, went like a series of discussions with me, and I cannot draw. Okay, even my my stick drawing, uh -uh, wala talaga kayo makikita don. Okay, no, I'm not really good. It's my husband, not me. Okay, so I had a series of talk with the, this architect many years back, and he asked me many things. Okay, I'm not really sure if he got a you know. A background in coaching but he asked me many things okay and what I tried I even went to Rockwell during the time and get a lot of books so I can present to him but he said it's okay you don't need it don't buy it kasi mamahal na mga design books diba so and then he just sent me a lot of questions and all and here's what happened when he presented to me the design it was perfect not a single thing not a single thing I wanted to be to change. Same thing. The architect who did this, okay? So architect, if you're watching, that's really a great talent. Send me a lot of questions. And when the design come out, exactly the same. Not all architects can make it happen. Okay? Some people are good at storytelling, but some people are good at listening to stories. What does it mean? Some people, ang dami mong sinabing nobela. 
and they can take the gist of your story and say, this is exactly what you mean. It's a talent. But do you recognize it's a talent? Come on now. You dance. But not every dancer can connect. I don't dance, but there are... So normally when there are, there are dance performances, I, you know, I, I'm not interested because I don't dance. But there are really dancers, there are really dance performances that they really would like... It would glue me. Whether live or in TV, like they, they would naturally... Like, oh my goodness, I want that. Because there's so much in the talent. All right, some some people can dance and provide therapeutic. Okay, okay. Some can dance ther with therapeutic effect to sick people. Some people can sing, and a child will live. There's a lot of that stories. So think about your talents. What can your talent do? We have someone on floor right now. Voice in person. Impersonation. Tama ba yun? Impersonator. Imagine mo, di ba, kung mamamatay ka na, di, ang pangit, no? Pero think about it. If you, there is such a voice that really would suit you, and someone can sing that. Imagine that talent. I would pay for that talent. Would you? I would. Now think about your talents. What are you doing with your talents? You know, the very reason I'm a life coach, because my talent is to listen. That's one thing. I'm, many people would think that my talent is talking. It's not. It's listening. Like, you can talk whole day, and I can just be there. Yeah. I love listening. I thought I love listening to stories. I thought I was just, you know, loving people's story. No, I want to hear thoughts. I want to hear, like, when people tell of their story, I want to feel that emotion. I want to understand what's going into their mind. I didn't realize it was a talent, but that's what I love to do. And I didn't realize my pera doon. Meron. Imagine mo makikinig ka lang, may pera. No, I, this is not a joke. But what I do, I found life coaching. I landed in life coaching because I love listening. And nobody told me it's a talent. I ask you, all of you, growing up in school, somebody tells you, anyone who got talent in listening? No. Come on now. Growing up, okay, I would always feel bad when teachers said, okay, who got talent? Okay, let's talk about talents. Somebody talks singing, dancing, tama? Lahat wala ko nun. I act. But I also do director, directorial job. Hindi eh. There is more. The reason why I want to act, because I want to hear, I want to listen to the story of the characters. The reason why I want to do directorial jobs is because I want to work with people with different stories. At the end of the day, all I want is just to listen to people. Yeah. So I have a lot of things. Pero pag sinasabi talaga yung mga talent, wala naman nagsabing, sinong magaling makinig? Wala. So who among you would connect with me na yung talent mo parang hindi talent? Parang ano lang yan eh. Sinong nagsabing talent ang matulog? <laughs> oh, di ba? Kung hindi ka makatulog, no, here's the thing. Oh. You think I'm joking? No, I'm not. There are people who are so talented and can give you the art of sleeping. They can help you, okay? They can put you to sleep without medicine. There's a lot of depressed people in the world today, isn't it? And you would always resort to taking medicines. There are people who are so talented and putting all the rituals and habits for, so for you to sleep well, okay? This is no joke. You can check the internet, there are people like this. I, I work with people who, who've got, you know, mental challenges. And one of the things that I study is how to put a person to sleep without medicine. And there are people who are so talented with this that they can really put a steps, they can create a journey, they can create, you know, 
an activity or a habits, a ritual, and they can put people to sleep without medicine. That's a talent. Pero pag sinabing anong talent mo, matulog. You, you're gonna laugh about it, isn't it? Am I connecting? Yes. Right? I mean, everybody can see, everybody can, you know, pwedeng gayahin yung bosses nino, so what is it? Until you realize that that particular talent is for someone else. Now, I want every one of you, you listening online on, and you on floor, I really want to challenge you, what is that talent of yours right now that you think can make a difference in someone's life? I mean, think about it. Even the talent of, I have, you know, I have people here on floor who've got the talent of tasting a food and you can recreate the food. That's a talent. I mean, for some people, feeling ninyo, to cook would require you, you know, to buy expensive ingredients. Eh, paano kung kulang? Paano kung hindi mo kaya kunin yung, yung ingredients na hindi mo ma-pronounce? Hindi ba may mga ganun? May mga, ay, ito bang pronunciation ng ingredients na to? Coach Henry, ayan. Francis also, and Gina Season, thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, so, what is one talent that you think someone else will appreciate? Someone else will pay for? Anong pwedeng gawin dyan sa talent? Meron ba? Here's another draw. The reason why you cannot find an opportunity to monetize your talent is because you yourself don't believe that someone else will pay for it. Okay? In YouTube, there's a lot of people earning, oh, ito, 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 just by eating. Yeah. Eating food in three minutes. Eating this food in 60 seconds. Eating. But do you think growing up, somebody tells you, your teacher asks you, and say, who's so good at eating? Meron ba? Wala. And here's another thing. Pero pag contest, padamihan ng kain ng sili. Tuwang-tuwa tayo. So we make fun. And we joke about the talents when in fact, we are so talented and drive within us is a lot of opportunities that we can monetize if only somebody will tell you that talent of yours can be monetized and can that bring a fortune to you. So I'm a life coach. And such, I'm giving you the permission to believe tonight that your talent can be monetized and you can turn it into income. Yeah. You have that permission. Think about your talent. Because there is no one person born of nothing. Marami ng artist, marami ng painter, marami ng sculptor, yes. But no one paints the same thing. Na-research ko yan. Yeah. Sculptors, walang dalawang sculptors sa pareho yung akda, yung likha. Wala. Wala. You are very unique. Okay? Like if you go to an art museum, you can identify the works of one person to another, with another person. You can. There's so much talent into it. Okay? Some people are talented into capturing speed. Okay? Whatever it is, gusto nilang ibibit yung time. Talent yun. Lalo na yung mga taong ayaw umalis sa kama. Talent yung tulungan mo. Bangon, bangon, bali. Mas mabilis. I'm not joking. What I'm saying, that particular talent of yours have a purpose. Dancing can be very therapeutic. Dancing, singing, poetry, very therapeutic. It's just that you're not able to package it so you can offer it to people. So let me share with you five things to turn it, which we've been talking about. Number one is, we've been talking about this. Identify your talents. I said talents, okay? Not only talent, talents. Because most of the time, your talent is connected to another talent. Magkakadikit yan. I'm just thinking, if you're great at dancing or singing and you can cook, the singing cook, the dancing cook. Come on now, diba? I mean, think about it. 
Daling kaya natin yun sa YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm also a very good at marketing, by the way. Okay, I've... Uh, kaya ko yan. Oh, I've, that's been my job, okay? I've earned a lot of money, you know, promote... Not just... I'm a brand builder. I'm a product development expert. So, I'm just thinking. I mean, if you can sing, you can dance while cooking, kung gunto ko yun, with all the choreography. And I think si Coach Tin was able to do that, diba? Life's lesson you see through cooking. Tama, Coach Tin? Si Coach Tin, ginawa nila yun. They have one episode in their talks, okay, uh, in their FB Live that they talk about um, relationship. Tama ba yun? Relationship. And ang ginamit nilang base is cooking. O, oh, meron yung panoorin nyo. O, oh, panoorin nyo. I-follow nyo kasi sila. Oo. Couple Coach, Tin Di Hoya in. Yan, son. Maganda, maganda po yung episode na yun. Yeah, I love it. Diba? So, may purpose ba yung talent? Next. Identify. Number two, identify opportunities in the world. I shared with you. Okay? Think about it. Who would not just appreciate but who's in need of your talent? Oh, meron ganito. Mabasaan ko lang to. Coach A! Nakahabol din. Hi, Coach K. Mara may exclamation point din. Hi, Coach K. We're talking about talents. And Coach, ano ang hidden talent mo? Yan. Wag singing kasi alam ko na yan eh. Yung hidden, yung hidden. Sumasagot. Sumasagot si Coach Tin. Okay. Can you identify opportunities in the world? I'm talking about the world. Because many times, our problem or our limitation is also, wala naman makaka-appreciate ng ta talent ko. E malamang, yung talent mo, pinapakita mo lang sa kapatid mo, iisa lang yung kapatid mo. Do you hear me? Yung talent mo sa loob lang ng CR, o paano naman malalaman ng world? Hidden talaga. But you know what? Well, I'm not, I'm not a singer, but here's, here's what it, I, I wanna say. For those of you singing in the banyo, singing in the restroom, think about it. You can really check this in YouTube. There are popular YouTubers who are not really singers. Masakit talaga sa tenga eh. Pero ang dami nilang followers. Tapos tuwang-tuwa pa yung mga tao kasi masakit sa tenga. And then, you're by, you know what? It's not singing that that's your talent. Yung lakas ng loob, yun yung talent. Di ba po? I mean, do you hear what I'm saying? It's not the singing that is the talent. The talent is to conquer what people are saying you cannot do. That's the talent. Like po sa ano, I can see your voice. They look for a natural sintonado. Oh, totoo yan. That's right, di ba? Mm. They're looking for that. Pero kasi performer, di ba? And you're happy with it. You're fun. It's fun to be with. Okay. Hi, Sis Jo. Okay. Uh, Coach Preska, nandito. O, oh, yan. Hello, D. Miss you and rocking my... Oh, Coach Preska, nahihintay ka na namin. Meron kami dito, Coach Presi. So, dapat maganda Preska and Presi. Nandito kayong dalawa. <laughs> She's watching online. Hi, Coach. Thank you for the goodies. Thank you for the pasalubong. We love it. Okay. Guest on floor. Can you now identify may opportunities ba in the world for your talent? Can you? Yes. Now, here's the thing. Kung hindi mo ma-identify, what you can do on number two is this. Identify what are the opportunities in the world. Example, maraming depressed na tao. I'm not taking this lightly, okay? Many of you know it's my advocacy. Totoo yun. Madami po talagang mentally challenged people. Now, let me challenge you now. What can your talent do for mentally challenged people? Mm. Do you hear me? 
If you can sing, if you can draw, if you can dance, if you can cook, if you can listen, this will immediately put a positive mental health to people. Yes? Can you hear me? So identify opportunities in the world and number three, you connect your gifts to these opportunities. Madali lang maghanap ng opportunities. Madami. So tanungin mo yung sarili mo ngayon, what do I have that I can connect with this? Number four, develop your talent into strength. You cannot develop your talent into strength if you will not be brave enough to say, I am great at this, I am good at this. This is something I can do and this is something I can develop. Now, many times your limitation is this, walang pera. Can you hear yourself saying that? Wala namang pera, lagi akong libre. Trust me. You are one over away from getting paid with your talent. It is you who allowed to receive thank you for your talent. Iikaw yung nagpa-thank you eh. But if somebody get your service and you say, this is my professional fee. Ako, professional fee? Yeah, talent mo yun eh. O sige, kung ayaw mo, di ba kaya ang antawag doon ay talent fee? Tama ba? O kaya nga hindi professional fee tawag yun doon, tama? Talent? Be, kasi talent mo. Kung gusto mo ng sintunadong singer, edi bayaran mo yung talent ko kasi sintunado ko. Tama? If you want someone who cannot sing, pero malakas ang loob na kumanta at gusto mong nagpapasaya sa'yo, di bayaran mo yung talent na yun. Wala akong talent na ganun. Wala ko nun. My father would always tell us, pag hindi mo talent, wag mong gawin. That's very self-limiting. Yeah. But one thing I realized with that, the value, okay, hinanap ko talaga kung saan ako magaling. Hindi ko lang malabas kasi nga parang wala naman nagbabayad noon. It took many years. But I thank God for that and I thank my father for that. Kasi kung siguro pinilit kong kumanta, wala din, no? Pinilit kong sumayaw, wala din talaga. Yan. So, eto na lang tayo, mag-live coaching tayo. Number five. Focus, eto na. Focus your strength in large and interrupted blocks of time to create massive value for others. Ano yung, ano yung combination? Strength in large. Ibig sabihin, lagyan mo ng maraming lakas. Your strength, put it in there. And interrupted blocks. Ibig sabihin nun, mag-dedicate ka ng panahon, ng oras. And create massive value for other people. Because if you start giving value to other people using your talent, people would start recognizing that you are talented and your talent is worth of something. All of us have something wired inside of us. Hard wired inside of us. You can challenge me with this, but I am certain that there is no single individual right now watching and on floor na walang talent. Agree, disagree. And if you are like one of our on-floor guests dito, and sabi niya, wala akong talent. Two things. From the inside, be honest. Two things you do. Coach, two things you do. From the inside, ask yourself. What am I really great at? And what is it that I enjoy doing? Sometimes one question could be, what makes your heart sing? Coach Mix, what makes your heart sing? <laughs> what are the things you can do for hours and you can just get lost into it. And you're okay. Underwater. And you see with him, he's helping people, teaching people to dive. And not just people, non-swimmers. Talent yun. Okay? When he said, 
you know, I'm a diver, I teach people, but you said non-swimmers. That is the talent. Kasi mga non-swimmer, ayaw ng tubig eh. Hindi nga makapag-swim, pinadive mo pa. So for you, okay, to bring out that confidence to dive and not knowing how to swim, that one is a talent. Not even, that the diving, but it's really, what he said, underwater, that's my talent. Alright, so, what is it that you are really great at? What is it that you enjoy doing? What is it that you can allow yourself to be lost for hours? And you will not consider it as a task. Assuming you do that for the whole day. From the outside, you can take written exams, written tests, okay, evaluation sheets. But you know what? One thing that you can do to find your talent, get feedback from people you work with. Ask them, what do you think I'm good at? Yeah. What do you think I can do to help you? And it's very natural of me. Okay. What is it that I can do effortless and you can see that I enjoy it? You know, that's... But can I tell Coach Ken? Mambaril. And another way for you to find out, think about it. What is one thing that people always ask you to do for them? Come on. What is one thing that people always ask you to do for them? Magkilay. Talent yun. Magkilay. I can't do that for other people. So that's a talent. If you can do that for other people, that's a talent. So, exercises, okay? There are three exercises that I want to encourage you to do. Ask yourself what I am good at. What pulls me into engagement in the world, okay? What active tasks I can engage for hours and I can do effortless, where time just simply disappear. What do people ask you for help with? And finally, you can ask 10 people. Who you know, ask them what is it that they believe you can do. You are great at. Wag mong kontrahin na. Pag sinabi, alam mo, mag di naman. Tsamba lang. Wag mo nang kontrahin. Okay? And when you get it, go through the five items. Go through the five steps. Okay? And if you need help, how to package it in such a way that the world will buy that, get in touch with our tribe. Message me directly. I'm going to help you personally. Because I think poverty will end in our country, in the world, if only you will find time to value what God has already given to you. Good night, everyone. Thank you for joining me. This is Coach A. Have a great night ahead of you. Thank you so much.